Mm-hmm. We're doing this again. Uh, we're doing the scary animation videos. I don't know if it's going to be another full series like last time. I don't know. I, I think there's like 14 episodes in the last series. But who knows? Maybe we'll bring it back. I don't know. Just, just yeah. Um, okay, so this one's called A Mysterious Man is Standing Outside and Trying to Enter My House. I almost said eat my house, but you know. That doesn't really make sense, unless you're Dylan. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, get into it. My name is Pascal. And my name's Robo Mackle. old now, but this event happened three years ago when I was 19. Is he shouting? It happened just in the middle of the night when my parents were away for an important company meeting. The company was kind of far away from where we lived, so I stayed home by myself while they were gone. One time, while I was at home alone, I looked out the window, randomly, and froze. There was a tall man, almost dressed entirely in black. He was wearing a tuxedo and holding a kitchen knife. This guy was standing right outside of the door, looking at me. He wasn't laughing at all, and his head was twitching continuously. What'd you do to him? Sir, please get off our property, otherwise I'll call the police. I opened the window and told him. Then the man replied, Oh, you can do that if you want, as long as you don't look away. Because of this strange attitude, I felt anxious. So I grabbed my cell phone and called the police. <gasps> He's looking away. But when I looked out the window again, he was gone. Oh, when he, he told you not to look moment, away. I heard footsteps what you do? You look downstairs. Away. I suddenly the door remembered then. that I forgot to lock my garden door. Oh my so god. It was still open. I thought I was gonna die at first. Yeah, well, then that's all you I get for being an idiot. Together. I got my bat and looked down the stairs, slowly, trying not to make a sound. There he was. Don't there look was away. Just staring at me. You and walk up to him and hit him it. with the bat or anything. You're gonna even shoot him. Away. And just as long as you don't look away, he won't do anything. Sirens. The man still did not move. But then he suddenly changed his mind and walked over to me. I tried to swing my bat towards him, but I was so scared. I couldn't do anything except scream. The police broke down the door. One policeman tried to arrest him, and the other one tried to take the knife away from him. But the man resisted. Oh, God. He was strong. Well, he wasn't trying Even to enter your house. Number, he did enter your they house. Stop him. Clickbait. They threatened to shoot him in the foot. But he didn't care. Furthermore, he attacked the two policemen, and they tumbled down to the ground. Jeez, what drugs are you on? I ran to one of the rooms and slammed the door shut. But he kicked in the door. When the door opened, I could see his face. And I will never, ever forget that moment. He's licking the knife. However, at that very moment, the police caught up to him and shot his foot. The guy started screaming in pain. I know Shortly do that. after that, he managed to jump outside of a window and disappeared. Yeah, sure. After him, sure, he jumped out of a two-story window. Him. I never saw that guy again. I'm glad that I survived that incident, but I also feel nervous that he'll come to my house again. From that day on, I always made sure I locked all the doors and windows. Dun. Okay, well, that one was quite short. I'm trying to go for the short ones, because you see a lot of them look pretty long. Let's, uh... See what True McDonald's Horror Story is like. Have you ever been to McDonald's? You know, the, the only thing really scary that could happen there is, um... It, it's, it depends on who's, you know, like, giving you the food. You know, it, if it's someone like me, then you're probably going to end up with spit and stuff on it, you know? But, uh, yeah. Let's just check it out. <sighs> In 2016, I went to a McDonald's with my friend who will call Ashley for a What's up there with that animation? That's uh, pretty different from the fun now. You see reasons. 
On this night, we had just seen a movie with his girlfriend, and after the movie, we all got hungry, so we decided to hit up our local McDonald's to go grab a bite. It was nearing midnight, so there were barely any cars out at this time. We went to the McDonald's, ordered our food, and sat down at a table. Ashton and his girlfriend were sitting down facing what? me, oh, what? and I was it's facing squidward. them. As we were eating, I see a man sitting on two tables across from us Sims with a little gameplay. boy that looked to be about seven or eight. The thing I remember most vividly about the boy was the extremely empty, pale look on his face. Because <laughs> it's nice job. On top of that, he wasn't even eating. He kind of just sat there watching what I assumed to be his dad. Okay. At one point, the guy gets up and grabs the boy's hand, and they eventually they come to us. The man starts to ask Ashton if he had any spare cash on him. While he was talking to Ashton, the boy looks at me and stares at me with eyes open wide as possible. I'll admit, it was a bit creepy, but what he said next made me want to puke. That's not my dad. I've been kidnapped. Please help me. What? My blood turned to ice as I heard him say that. What? <laughs> the man then looked at the boy and then at me, and with that, they left out the McDonald's as I knew that he caught on to my suspicion. Ashton and his girlfriend seemed to catch on as well, and I immediately dialed 911. I explained everything to the operator and gave her a description of the man and the boy. They came, but nothing ever became of it. A few weeks later, I was watching the news, and there was a missing child report that came on. When I saw who the missing child was, I nearly screamed. It was the same kid at the McDonald's. They unfortunately found his body Small by world. a canal not far from my house, and at that point, I knew that the man had something to do with this. Apparently, he had been missing for well over six months, and police had been searching for him ever since the day he'd gone missing. They aren't sure as to how he died, but the news said that he had died due to dehydration, which I found very false. Ever since that day, I feel so helpless and heartbroken for that boy. There are truly some messed oh, up people in this world right. that do horrible <laughs> things. Got in the back? I hope you could use my story to create awareness as to how these things happen all too often. I like how they're just saying that, like, right in front of the huge, I'm loving it, instead of I'm McLoving it, or I'm McLovin'. Alright, TikTok horror stories, what, what could happen? You know, you might run into someone like, um, Dylan... A dark and twisted true story. Really? Oh, I really do not care. I met this woman <laughs> on TikTok. And her name was Belle Delphine. Mm, my name is Ken Kenneth. Named Jenny. Who seemed oh, rather like nice, this. even though she posted odd and strange videos. She offered for me to come over to her house. Come over, I'll lock you in my basement and need you, Mr. Kenneth. House for a TikTok party to celebrate. I really hope that's not a real thing. Do people actually have TikTok parties now? Sorry, I, I can barely concentrate on this story with the way this guy's talking. Find me, she said. I was having second thoughts, but for some stupid reason, I agreed to play the game and went okay. searching for her. It was so dark that I had to feel my way through, which led me to the basement, which had a foul odor that mimicked the stench of and I rotting found out flat. This person was trying to copy me, Mr. Kenkniff. And then a voice came from the top. 
darkness. Looks like you found me, she said. And when I flashed my cell phone, there she was, sitting with a bloody axe in her hands. And nailed to the walls were dead oh my and God. mutilated bodies. And this is apparently real. What the actual fuck I said as I ran. So he looks at a guy with no arms or legs and is nailed to a wall and the person who killed him, apparently, has a bloody axe and is threatening, pretty much threatening to kill you and you, the, your response is to get out your phone and you're like, oh my god. Out of the house and called the cops. Come to find out she was a mentally disturbed woman who used the app to lure me in to her basement to kill them. Uh, that was a little funny and scary. The story wasn't funny, it was just the way that guy was talking. Alright, this will be the last one. I made the creepiest friend at the dark web. So have I. That, that's, where, that's where I get most of my friends from. The dark web, and they're all pretty creepy. When I was a teenager, I would often explore the deep web with my friends. How is a teenage girl... How does a teenage girl uh, got such a de uh, deep man voice? Now, before, I, before you guys start harassing me in the comments and stuff and make me actually read them, I'm joking, I'm joking. But before you actually start commenting and stuff, I know it's not him. All right, I know it's not actually... Yeah. I just know he's reading it. Specifically, weird stuff on Hidden Wiki. What it? <laughs> it was definitely What's that big lip one? To choose from. I never clicked on the violent links because I'm not into that. My friend Latrice told me to click on one that says "new best friend." After doing so, it takes you to a page where you have to make a profile. Really? Put read. the name Lisa on my profile. My Charlie name. Manson. Once I made the profile, oh, some have been the main page that has categories. That's all the new best friends you get from it. Serious, smart, and smothering. We clicked smothering. I thought it was funny. After choosing, there was a list of people with their pictures, male and female. I clicked on the profile of a guy. Hey, 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 hey. Like the number five. There's not only male and I female added, in this and it world. It seemed like someone who would be a smothering friend. When I was searching through his profile, he looked like a lizard. Message from him asking, and he also looks like a friend. Um, I looked at that guy's name. Um, who created Facebook? Mark Zuckerberg, but respond, not yes. really the difference, is there? So we're messaging back and forth for maybe 30 minutes, and then Latrice had to go. I told him I'll be back on tomorrow, and he said, Okay, maybe a week went by where I would talk to him every night. He seemed very nice, so we exchanged numbers so we could talk more. You think a guy that looks like Mark Zuckerberg and a lizard from the dark web is nice? Me. Who wants to I talk to you? I talking with this other person, but still was texting the guy five, which I knew his real name now as William. William. The new guy well, of had course. the name Bill on his profile. Well. A day went by, and he seemed cool, but then William randomly asked me, why I was talking with Bill. I didn't know what to say, so I never responded. He kept texting with angry messages, so I blocked him. I didn't receive any texts, only a single yeah, message from that site, and it said soon. One day after school, my friend Latrice came over to have a sleepover. We got comfortable, Sleep over went time. to my room, and did our usual of surfing through the what, web people being big lips. I brought up that guy. Then I received a text message that said, Why'd you block me? From a random number. Because I felt like it. Question mark. Then he replied, It's me, William. He texted me from another number after I blocked him. I told oh Latrice God. how creepy this guy is. Then Latrice stopped me from talking because she thought she heard something. Then I heard a voice. I'm not that creepy. We both responded by screaming and looking around. I saw someone coming from under my bed, so we ran screaming out of the room. And my what was that the cops. They didn't get him because he left in my window. And nothing could be traced back to him. 
I'm starting to think that he was both of the people I was talking to. That definitely opened my eyes to the dangers of the internet. Maybe because Bill and William, William, like Bill's a long is a shorter word for William. Do you ever think about it like that? Huh? No, you didn't. Because right, you were dumb enough to go on the dark web. So obviously not. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye bye.